Nine. I know, the t is not in the club, but we don't want to make any bad. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this object here, which is a solid glass ball. Now, without moving our planets there, here's what I want you to do. Very gently. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Very gently bring it into play. Try to get the elliptical orbits. Let's get rid of all the wrinkles. This one, we really need to keep it tight on, okay? Because I'm going to push pretty hard. So if I push, you can see they've followed this around. <laughs> and if I get it going just right, all those planets will orbit. And this is what's happening in space. Our galaxy does this. Our solar system does this. The planet does this to the moon. So the moon. Say it again. So the universe is really just a stretched out cloth. <laughs> it's a stretched out surface in three dimensions, but four dimensions if you add time. That's why they call it space time. And so what's happening is each time there is a change in the shape of the universe, a four dimensional shape. What happens is that it draws these other objects in and causes them. To, to move. But remember, each one of them has a gravitational field too. You help make the Earth's gravity by being on Earth. You have a gravitational field. Okay? So the Earth is attracted to you as much as you are attracted to the Earth by gravity. That's a very strange idea. <coughs> but if I was going to say, well, where's the gravity? Let's dig a hole and see if we can find it. I know it's in the earth somewhere. And I took away all of the earth looking for it. Would I find it? Or was it in every shovel hole? Yeah. Which means it's in every grain of sand. And every dust bunny under your bed. <laughs> every little eyelash on your eye eyelid. Every hair on your head. Every time you sneeze, little pieces of the gravitational field of our planet come flying out of your nose. <laughs> Every bit of matter here on Earth, and that includes you and me, is responsible for bending the universe and causing gravity to shape the motion of our Earth, our moon, and the other planets, and the meteors, and the comets, and everything else that's passing through. We are all connected in that way. We're all a part of that entire system. Although we're such a small part of it, it's sort of like we're just along for the ride. <laughs> it's kind of like you're along for the ride in the car, but are you making the car go? <laughs> no, even your parents aren't making it. They're just hitting buttons that make the engine do the thing. The wheels go, and it's the car going, yeah. But you are part of the car, aren't you, as you go along? So we're part of the gravitational field of our solar system. By the way, uh, there's a scientist who figured out that when they get close to the bottom, they speed up. And his name is Kepler. And Kepler's laws talk about how things, when they get down to the bottom of the bowl, make it go much faster. Okay? Which you've probably noticed if you're flushing toilets and watching. Okay. Now, what about a black hole? <laughs> <laughs>